Ooh. You know why I do that? Tyrone Magnus. Check out Tyrone Magnus. Sometimes I just like doing that because he likes doing it. Like, that's just cool. You won't see me doing it often, though. I don't want to copy people. But it's just funny. He's one of my inspirations. I'm not going to lie. He's one of my inspirations for chasing my dreams, doing a YouTube channel. You know? Check him out. Time Roll Magnus. Shout out to the Magnus. I love his intros with superheroes and stuff. But speaking about superheroes, we got some news about what's going on during this Discovery Warner Brothers murder. And Zaslav, the CEO of uh, Discovery, um, has some ideas. And according to our movie review, Zaslav wants DC, Trinity, Film, and Cavill on six picture deal. So much Snyderverse news! Exclamation mark. Bro, you have no idea how happy this makes me. Because after watching the Batman, which by the way, I am still going to put out some videos after I watch the movie for a third time. Because I want to get it right. It's a lot of shit. I don't like about the movie. Just as much shit that I do like about the movie. But the fact that there's a lot of Snyderverse news, you know? A lot of news going around about the Snyderverse coming back. Discovery wanting the Snyderverse to continue. And now Zaslav wants Henry Cavill in a six picture deal. Woo! I know if Tyro Man that saw this shit, he'd be like, Woo! Anyway, let's watch the video. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Now, it appears I decided to go on holiday on the wrong weekend, because today we have a lot to talk about. DC have changed their header to something very interesting. Mikey Sutton has revealed two fascinating reports about Zaslav and his mindset on DC, mainly the DC Trinity and Henry Cavill, and an actor has let something regarding the Snyderverse slip and then proceeded to state that they were hacked. There is a lot to talk about today, so let's not waste any time and get straight into the first piece of news. So the first piece of news is from Mikey Sutton, who is the Geekosity Editor-in-Chief. He has reported that Zaslav wants to sign Henry Cavill on a long-term contract being around a six-picture deal, including Man of Steel 2 and 3, Justice League 2 and 3, and a Black Adam 2. Oh, he shit. also stated that Zaslav is a huge fan of the DC Trinity, being Superman, Wonder Woman, and Batman, and the final film in Cavill's new contract would be a DC Trinity film. Mm. Now, what I find so interesting and exciting by these comments from Mikey is that he also reported that Ben Affleck would not die in the Flash film. But he didn't report this at a similar time to Grace Randolph, who reported that last Friday. Mikey reported this on July 19th, 2021. Oh, shit. Almost an entire year before Grace Randolph did. Oh, now, yes, shit. we don't know if either are telling the truth on this matter, as we haven't seen the he flash He better yet, not die. So we will have to wait and see. But the reports are promising. Mikey's report on the DC Trinity is interesting too, because DC have just updated their header on Twitter to the DC Trinity. Now, it seems that for a while, DC were pushing away from the iconic Superman, Batman, Wonder Woman trinity, but now at the same time Mikey has reported Zaslav's admiration for the DC trinity, DC have changed their header to the three of them. Mm. Now, some people are saying that the header never changed, but I seem to remember that it was different before, possibly promoting the Batman. HBO Max also have the trinity representing their DC section of the streaming service, which to me implies that they are embracing the DC Trinity again. Mm. A concept artist has released a lot of designs that he created for Ben Affleck's Batman film. Oh, shit. Now, I have to say, I love the suit design, other Holy than the Bat shit. logo, but the cowl is probably the best live action cowl I have ever seen. Word. This has caused even more hype surrounding a Batfleck film, and now Sam Raimi has said that he would want to direct a Batman film, which had got me thinking. What if, whilst Snyder is working on Rebel Moon and the Army of the Dead universe, 
Sam Raimi worked with Ben Affleck and Chris Terrio to create a Batman film or series set in the Snyderverse. Yo! Snyder could be the producer and could make sure it fits in with his continuity, but that would also mean we would get more Snyderverse stories before Snyder could return to shoot Justice League 2 and 3. Word. If Snyder did come back to shoot Justice League 2 and 3, we would be looking at a late 2023 being the earliest he could do so. Right. So I think in the meantime, it would be a great idea to let Ben Affleck tell his Batman story. Yes. And maybe even tell other Snyderverse stories whilst we wait for Justice League 2 and 3. Let me know what you think of that idea in the comments below. Now, arguably the most important and amusing piece of news to come out over the past couple of days is something that I discovered and unfortunately may have got this person in trouble. Oh. Now, Greg Creek, sorry if I butchered that name, who is an actor and producer, posted this on his Instagram story. Who is ready for me to drop some crazy game-changing news I won't be able to share any details about, except what I can. Mm. Hashtag stay tuned, hashtag you may hate me soon. Oh, he used shit. Tom Holkenberg's At the Speed of Four score from the Snyder Cut with an image of Zack Snyder and the Justice League. Oh, now, shit. Now, this on its own is very interesting, but it was what happened next that made this confusing and a bit amusing. I took a screenshot of his story and posted it on my Instagram story as well as my Twitter account, and it proceeded to go a bit viral around the Snyderverse fandom. A couple of hours later, he deleted the post and then blocked me on Instagram. I was very confused by this, so I reported on that too. Then my very kind followers sent me this image of his latest story, where he stated that his account had been hacked into a day ago. I have to admit, this did make me chuckle, because what he is saying is that a hacker decided to hack into his account, and instead of trying to scam a follower, into giving them money or promoting an illegal product or anything along those lines, the hacker went straight onto his story and decided to post a cryptic post about the Snyderverse and what? nothing else. What? I'm sorry, but you've either got a very stupid hacker or he's trying to cover up the fact that he let something slip that he wasn't supposed to talk about yet. Where it they just probably doesn't call him, what the fuck up. you doing, what bro? What kind of hacker thinks, I could hack into his account and scam his followers, or I could post a cryptic Snyderverse story? I think Greg may have thought no one would have really seen his story, but then I promoted it and it got a lot of attention. And then someone high up told Greg to delete his story and then say he was hacked. Mm. If he was actually hacked, then I take back what I said and I'm sorry to hear you got hacked. But to me, it just doesn't make sense. Mm. I think something is happening behind the scenes, just like how the Snyder Cut did back in 2020. And once the merger is finalized, we could see what that something is. Mm. Someone on Vero posted Greg's story and Zack Snyder liked it. So he could also be hinting at something very exciting happening very soon. Mm. Maybe something is coming on March 18th, which is only a couple of days away now. That may be what Greg was talking about and why Snyder liked that post. I guess we will have to wait and see. I will try to release a video before March 18th talking about how the trending day will work, but that is purely news dependent. There will either be a video about some more news that has been released or a trending day explanation video. So make sure to keep your eyes peeled for that. Mm. We do have a final piece of news that hasn't been acted upon as of yet from my time to shine on Twitter and Instagram. She tweeted out that she will give us some more Snyder scoops soon. Well, that was on March 8th and still nothing revealed just yet, mm. but she apparently does have an Instagram too, where I commented, please be DC news. She responded with soon and then followed up with, by the way, it's for DC only. Mm. Now, I know people have said that this isn't her Instagram account and just someone trying to get followers, but someone did ask her on Twitter if that was her Instagram account and she did like the tweet. So she didn't confirm it, but she also didn't deny it, which isn't very helpful. The good news is, is that there are only two outcomes from this Instagram account. The first, that this isn't her, and we have no idea if the scoop will be DC related. Or, that this is her Instagram account, and the scoop will be DC related, which would match all the recent DC reports from other scoopers. If it is DC related, then we should all be extremely excited, as My Time to Shine is very reliable, with getting the Peacemaker finale reports completely correct. So I would say she is very reliable, it's just whether or not she does have an Instagram account. 
But even then, the fact that she said on Twitter that she will have more Snyder scoops soon, very close to other scoopers reporting about the Snyderverse related news, and with the merger right around the corner, we should all be very excited to see what happens in the next couple of weeks. But that is all for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Please make sure to like and subscribe and turn on post notifications so you never miss a video. I hope to see you here again soon. So until then, have a great day. Bye. That is awesome news. Awesome. I'm pretty sure that a lot of that is accurate, even though it's rumors. It's, it's, it's really rumors, but um, with everything that's been going on, the pushback of the films, it's like something's going on here, bro. Something's definitely going on here because they pushed back all the movies, you know, and now you got all this Snyder news coming out in the past couple of days and weeks and going to continue to come out. I'm telling you, man, it's going to happen. It's going to happen. Peace out, guys. Thank you for watching. Let me know what you thought of the video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment, please. Please let me know. Um, see you on the next episode. Peace out.